Hi, how are you? It's Travis Dean here, and welcome back to our adventures in Skyrim. Last episode, we uh, went out to get some recruits for the Dawn Guard so we can fight some vampires. One of the recruits we got was Serene Gerard. To get her to join, we had to get her a gyro, a, mm. dwar a dwemer gyro. Cozy little place. And isn't the, this? the way we did that Hope you're getting along was. With we went to the to. went to the Markarth this is fine for now, museum. But we can't stay hold up here forever. Where uh, the Dwemer Museum. We got her a gyro. After we got her the gyro, she was happy. She said, "Sure, I'll meet you at the Dawn Guard." And then our boy our Gunmar sense of here. What's right is what separates us. Met him when he was trying to hunt a bear. Don't and a dragon that. came. We fought a dragon together. And then we went to go hunt that bear down. Kill the troll. Kill the kill the bear. He was happy that I helped him, and he said, "Yeah, sure, fine. I'll." Uh, <laughs> Come join the Dawn God. Hunt some vampires with you. And now, I don't know, I guess we brought him back and I gotta go talk to Ismar. Continue our, our journey here. Look who it is. It's the land. Hmm? Cooking up some, cooking up some stew. Okay, I gotta go talk to uh, Isran. See what he wants us to do now. That we have some recruits. Maybe we're gonna go on, go on a little tack. Who knows? It's cool if this place has like a vampire, like the identification system in the middle. I don't know how the heck he got up there, or how to get up there. What's this? Oh, the lusty Argonian maid. <laughs> Oh yeah, give me that. I'll take that. Scroll of Banished Daedra, take some steel bolts. I'm clearly going the wrong way here. But we'll figure this out. Sooner than later. Get up this middle place. This castle's so bloody big. Hopefully these are the stairs up. This seems to be going outside again. Come on, this is Ah, I'm gonna be rocking around looking for how to get to the middle of the castle. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing in the chest. Isran's trolling me again. Alrighty. Alrighty then, how do we get up there? I wish he could just talk to us from the, from the bottom. There's this Dura. better be good. Yeah, it better be good. This better be good. Well, there's a door that way. Did we go up this way last time? Have we gone up to this one? I think we have, yeah. Nope, we haven't. Alrighty then. Hello, is I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Can you tell me about the Only old Don Guard? Back in the second era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously, and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. That's cool. Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. All right. Keep your eyes open. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep it? if you can. 
Sleep is for the weak. Even with all my preparations, we can't be too careful. The monsters could strike us at any moment. So that's what I gotta do now? Follow Isran? Okay. Alright, gotta help him out. What the heck is this crap? What's she doing here? This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. Oh, he's letting her in there? What's this crap? Is this like a torture chamber? Looks like it. Oh, gosh. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either. But eh? I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. What about the scroll? The reason I had it and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Sort of prophecy. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. What all this have to do with the... What's all this have to do with the Dawn Guard? I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? No, you're right. We just have to convince the others you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Well, I gotta talk to Isran. He's gonna feel like, are you crazy? All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Um, set your hatred aside and try to see the larger picture, Isran. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You don't trust her? Fine. Trust me. I believe her. You'd better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. All right. What do you know about the Elder Scrolls? I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. 
You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. <laughs> I guess we'll have to keep looking for that moth priest then. I guess so. Were you always a vampire? That's a long story. I want to hear it. I guess we kind of have to go way back to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? I don't know much about it. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. How did you actually become a vampire then? The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. How has it affected your family? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. Do you ever think about curing yourself? A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. I guess it's a gift. You don't die. You live forever. Alright, I don't even know if I want her to come with me, but... She's coming with me, I guess. We gotta go talk to, um... Gotta talk to some carriage people. Ask carriage drivers, ask innkeepers, and then visit the College of Winterhold. I think we're gonna go to the College of Winterhold first. Or maybe we'll ask some innkeepers. We'll go to Riften. Usually, like a guy around there. It's funny how she came back. Doesn't want to help her dad? Well, that's alright. No problem there with that. Let's see if there's a carriage out here. Malakath is the Daedric Prince. There's a carriage driver. Need a ride? Have you seen a moth priest? It's one of them imperial scholars, right? Old man with a gray robe. Yeah, that's right. You've seen him. Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Please, it's very important that I find him. Can't help you, friend. I might remember better if my pockets weren't so light. Maybe this will put your mind at ease. Oh, yes. I remember your moth priest now. He wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Alright. Just gotta ask the carriage guy, give him 365, he'll tell you All right. where it is. Okay, now we just gotta go to Dragonbridge. Wherever that is. Yeah, over here. Off the Dragon Bridge we go. Find this moth priest. So there's no vampires around. There probably will be. Well, she, well, she's one. There's always one around. It's weird that she's helping me, man. Like, I'm in a group that wants to kill them. A shadow mirror. Maybe he's in the inn? Where'd you come from? Oh, you guys are in the wrong city. Jeez. Down. These are like some easy vamps. How many of them are there? You think you stand a chance? Nice stock. Oh, 
Oh. Bad place to die. They heal like crazy. Just a regular man. One man's only like, why Saran attack me? Looks like you don't shoot the guard. She raised him from the jet. Vampires are strong, man. You don't have that stealth on your hand. Going down, lady. God. Give us your dust. I get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Nick, I just saved you. That's why. Now. Where's the end? There's four shields. Maybe where the moth priest is. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Where's the moth priest? The moth priest. <laughs> what a name for a priest. Ask people in Dragonbridge if they saw the moth priest. Okay. I've got a lot of respect for the Restoration School. Skyron could use a lot more healers. Staying safe, I hope. Know anything about the moth priest visiting Dragonbridge? Ah, so that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. Just so headed south across the Dragon Bridge. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, looks like we're going along the road south across the Dragon Bridge. Let's go, Shadowmere. Let's ride. Oh, look at the carriage. It's killed. Ah, oh, vampire went down. Vampire's note. Take that dust. Take that armor. Imperial crap. Let's read this note. Vampire note. So many notes, it's crazy. I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Four Bears Holdout for safekeeping until I can break his will. Malchus. Alright, now we know. Do you need something? I think we should part ways. Yeah, I think we should part ways. She can come though, I don't know. Rescue the Moth Priest, okay. Let's see where he is. Where is the Moth Priest? Oh, it's right here. What a convenient hideout. Hopefully we can get up this way. Good that she comes, but it sucks. I don't know. It's okay. I tell her just to wait at the front. Okay. Here we go. Keep yourself quiet now. Oh, this is a big hideout. the vampires. Oh, 
hear the dog? The dag? Who's there? See you later, dag. Bait us out. Uh. baiting us out. Teach you. Vampire Archer. Oh, what's she doing? She can. She can stop. Oh, wow. It's gonna take us more shots. I could have probably killed a lot faster, but. That's the only way a vampire can die. Gold, orcish arrows, lockpick. This will take the dwarven boats. Kind of expensive. Weights kind of high. Though. They got these gargoyles. Sometimes they just spawn out of nowhere. So watch out for them. Guys, use it to poison and damage health. Vampire can get it. I'll kill you when you stand. Haha, <laughs> 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 tried to vis invis away, did we? Worker attacks. It's nice. Can't even see me. Where'd he go? Why is he fleeing? I fought worse. He might damage health up. Funny to push him off here. Push! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna be down there now. Got the high ground now. Look at all of them. Oh, my gosh. Keep running, man. Stop running. Fight the thrall. 
Another potion of damage health here. Moran is just getting beat up. Can't see me. Oh, crap. Soon your blood will be mine. Haha. Can't see me, doesn't know I'm here. Back. Won't end well for you. Waystone focus, gold lockpick, nice, nice stuff. All right, let's go save this moth priest. Obviously, vampires like caves. Keeps them all light out, dark. Don't have to worry about the sun. Oh, staff of fear. Oh, that's a nice staff. Now what do I do? Do I use this item that I just got? How do I get him out? Oh, up here. Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna save you. Is he like a friggin... How do I have to kill him? I feel like the Saran is here. These are all vampires. Fighting. I could see through my eyes, but I could not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. I owe you a debt for the timely rescue. Are you all right? I, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me. But they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. I know why they needed you. Because we needed you for the same you purpose. Do? All right then. Enough mysteries. We're called the Dawn Guard, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. You can find us at Fort Dawnguard near Stendar's Beacon. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. 
Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, vampire. I was gonna steal his potion, but I didn't take it. Are you okay? Siphoning the wall? <laughs> If there's any more crap up here. Take a quick look, you know, maybe find a cool chest. Probably not. Yep, yeah, looking kind of barren. Took everything we can. Now it's time for us to get out of here. The thing is, they didn't have the Elder Scroll. Like, if they, didn't, they don't have the Elder Scroll, then how can they read it? You know what I mean? Kind of weird. Alright, to Skyrim we go. Alright, time to meet the Moth Priest back home. Fort Dongard. There's the trolls. All right. There's the moth priest. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. What do you know about the Elder Scrolls? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls. Though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. What do Moth Priests do exactly? It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. Oh, so this guy's gonna go crazy. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future. And we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. The White Gold Tower? It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. If you find any more Elder Scrolls lying about, be sure to let me know. <laughs> I'm impressed you could find a Moth Priest so quickly. Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Alright, let's do the reading. Ah, hello so there. far, this hasn't been too bad. It gets lonely exploring by myself, though. Glad you made it here safely, Dexian. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Have my companions made you feel welcome? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Are you prepared to read the Elder Scroll? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to 
shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Well, that was interesting. Well, we now know that there's a bow called Oriole's Bow that we need to get. And uh, supposedly it makes the day, night, and night, day. I don't know. They combine together all this stuff. And we gotta find these Elder Scrolls. To keep it. I don't know. To keep. I don't know. To help our. To help us, I don't know. Find out how to defeat the vampires and what they want to do. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Keep your heads up. Later.